Hello, in this video I'll set up a vehicle controller prefab from NWH Vehicle Physics 2 with an IK Avatar driver prefab. Both of these assets are from the Unity Asset Store and these are fresh imports. I'm working in the racetrack demo scene from NWH Vehicle Physics 2. And the first thing we want to do to get started is to find the Avatar driver NWH support package and double click it. Then select import and this will update the NWH reference script. Alright, once your script is updated you can go ahead and drag and drop the avatar driver NWH prefab to be a child of the sports car prefab in the scene and then move the object into the driver seat. So I'll just paste some values that I have and you could use these if you like or you could manually move it yourself. Next I'll right click on the driver and unpack it completely. Then I'll expand it and next I'll expand the body joint to reveal the avatar driver. And from here I'll assign the read only steering wheel as the steering wheel. Next I'll assign the sports car as the vehicle rigid body and I'll also assign it as the vehicle controller reference. Alright, from here I will move the IK steering wheel to be a child of the sports car steering wheel and I'll reset its position on the X and Y axis and I'll reset its rotation. If you're using this with different vehicle prefabs and the steering wheels are different sizes you can also scale this up or down. And for this particular case I will disable the steering wheel mesh. You can delete it if you don't need it. And the last thing I'll do is I will add just a camera to this demo scene and select game object align with view. And this is just so we can actually see what's going on. Um, next I'll enable maximize on play and just press play. So from here I will enter the vehicle and I'll go ahead and mess with the steering a little bit and we could see that the driver's torso and, and head are moving based on his steering angle. So you can attach a camera to the driver's head bone if you'd like to have an interesting dynamic camera. And next we can drive around and we'll see that the feet are moving. So we got the brake and we got the gas. And I've kind of driven off road at this point and I have no idea where I'm heading. And the clutch foot will also be pressed when it's time to shift. And that's about it.